Okay, let's continue with some more tricks and hints about the user interface in VVVV. I still got my little patch set up here from the previous tutorial. Now if I right click and drag, I can move the patch around. And here I've made this group of nodes, which we're going to use to demonstrate another way of connecting inlets and outlets. If I left click on this outlet and left click on this inlet, I make the connection. So left click, left click, left click, left click. If I want to connect one node to many others, there's a quicker way to do this. And that's right clicking. So I right click on this outlet and I left click on this inlet. And look, I still got a connection line. So I can left click again and again. This can be a real time saver. To get rid of the connection line, just right click anywhere in the patch. Another nice trick I can show you is how to change the look of these connections. By default, it are these straight lines. Now, if I select the connection, you can see it's a bit thicker and that means it's selected. And now I press Ctrl Y on the keyboard. Ctrl Y. The connection look is now changed to horizontal, vertical, horizontal or HVH. If I press Ctrl Y again, I get these nice looking curved lines. I can of course also select multiple connections. And then I press Ctrl Y. And here we have nice curved connections. And if I select them all again and press Ctrl Y again, I get these VHV connections. And if I press it again, we get the nice curved lines. These connections look pretty, I know. And they are very useful if you are going from one side of the patch to another side of the patch. So you can still recognize that specific connection. These connections are very useful for feedback loops because if I click on one connection, you see these blue squares. I can drag them so I can shape my connection. However, there is a slight drawback of using this. If I move the nodes around and it's getting a bit unclear to quickly view if this inlet or this inlet is connected to this IO box or this IO box. So my advice is only use these cool connections if you're done with your patch or if you're done with your module.